Welcome back to another strange and mysterious pa -pa -pa podcast. Whoop dee. Of course, I'm one of your hosts. <laughs> Gee, introduce yourself, fellas. <laughs> Matt Roybal, Defiant Triple Nine here, checking out them guns. It's a and gun show you. over here. Yeah. <laughs> Last but not least, McVice. The infamous McVice. McVice has the advice for everybody to say. And if people don't know, okay, that whoop dee, that's from Mortal, Mortal Kombat. Kombat. Ooh, get over here. Try to go old school. Uh, I'm All right. Shit. Gentlemen, I was thinking tonight we'd get into some AI. This video talks about oh, what wow. AI predicts for the next 400 years for humanity. Mm. It's not a long video, but it just takes you like, you know, uh, piece by piece, you know, for the next 400 years. And so we Sounds can discuss fascinating. it afterwards, right? And then talk about it. Yep. Sounds Are you gentlemen ready? I'm ready. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Get over here. <laughs> Flawless victory. Yeah. All right. Let's see what we've got. All right. Let's check it out, Holmes. Tasked with designing 400 years into the future, two Arcadians set out on a mission to both warn humanity of the dangers of the current climate conditions and show our species Looks like a video game. great potential should we work together. And so we begin. No We're all going to have raincoats? As the reckoning. Like Blade Runner 2040. <laughs> right? Where society's efforts... I hope so. <laughs> ...and as generous... And have a raincoat, protect ...sustainability yourself. failed due to humanity's obsession with overconsumerism. Next, we have the dystopian era taking place in the year 2070, where the living conditions are inconceivably depressing, unhygienic, and inhumane. Also, with the sheer mismanagement of waste dumping around our That's beloved over. planet in space, leading world governments to assemble the people of the nations. Well, what I think is uh, oh, kind trees. of messed up by 2070, right? Uh -huh. The planet is going to be all messed up, all tirao. We're going to be yeah, old. The climate. So. Yeah, the climate. Yeah, we're not going to see the, the real results of it. We'll be dead. Yeah, like, I wonder if it's going to be like um, Mad Max, right? In the Thunderdome. Oh, uh, I hope not for our kids. It might be. Our, that's not a, that's not, that's a, that's not a fun world. That's a world where only the the powerful and the strong, strong survive. survive in the weak. Hey, what are you doing here, raggedy man? If you're <laughs> lucky, you become a sex slave. Hey, yeah. two men enter, one man. One man leaves. Such a good movie. Master though. Blaster. Master Blaster. That's a good movie. Dude, have you seen the trailer for Furiosa? Uh, uh, no, I don't think so. It looks great. The new really? The cool Mad Max. Yeah, amazing. Oh, I'm going to have to check it out. Yeah, you yeah, like I, the, I like Mad the Max. new Mad Max, right? Yeah, I've seen the new Mad Max. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's the it, it shows how Furiosa got where she got and became oh, the... Uh, okay. Became the what did they call her? The initiator? No, the anyway. Anyway, I don't want to get us off on a tangent, but go watch that trailer. It looks All good. Right, I have to check it out. I, I'm a huge uh older movie fan, so I don't like kind of when they do the like the new movies because they yeah. always mess it up. <laughs> yeah. My Except opinion. for the new the new Dune is pretty good. Oh, it's you amazing. know what? I wasn't a fan of the new Dune. The second movie though is amazing. Yeah, you had I'm said that. You. It's I haven't seen the second one. Stunning. Maybe tomorrow. Five dollars here in the uh, boots, so I might have to go check it out. Wow. All right, let us continue. Twenty one hundred, the retreat. After much trial and tribulation, we move wow, on so to the year twenty one hundred, the retreat. Devised as a plan for the rest and recovery of our natural Maybe the Jamaicans world, take over. Year 2100, yeah. humanity looks to live away from the surface <laughs> for 50 years. And so a new chapter begins with the return, the year 2200. And upon returning to the surface, 
humanity finds that the plan to allow nature to once again flourish worked outstandingly with all the greatest scientists, pioneers, futurists, and imagineers devising methods of evolving the current society's technology and architecture around transbotanism. Botanism. Transbotanism. It's interesting. Humanity begins rebuilding with nature in the year 2250. Hmm. The Imagineers and Visionaries of today in 2250 use biomimetic 4D printing in order to grow architecture. Hmm, grow architecture, interesting. Artificially reproduced and edited for our needs. And once again, huh. a more harmonious routine life into local neighborhoods. And just when our technological development peaked as we thought, in comes the new frontier of what we consider to be the nature of life itself. We've finally done it. The singularity is here. Humans have merged with AI and uploaded themselves to the digital realm, leaving behind all manners of physicality, therefore solidifying our position as a type of oh, civilization with our eyes fixated on the next challenge brought to you by our so what do you guys think of that video um it's pretty hopeful actually uh, to be quite honest i don't see even with ai i have a hard time seeing us survive our worst um our worst nature I don't know. I mean, I actually think it's hopeful. What it looks like to me is there's a lot of initial suffering, particularly when the climate falls apart, but humans figure out a way. And through AI, they're able to advance technology to the point to where they somehow were able to live underground with mm -hmm. synthetic light and energy, probably, probably harvested from the center of the earth. You'd think if you had the right technology, just all that thermal energy that you could use to grow food, you could use to, you know, cycle the air, somehow maybe pull in air from the top and filter it out. I mean, but I think it's hopeful. I don't know, but I don't know if it's realistic, truly. Well, um, I, I agree with you on that. I think this was kind of maybe, maybe this AI was happy. I don't know. Yeah, it had, but, a, it had uh, a very optimistic bent. <laughs> yeah, maybe he smoked some shit. I, I don't know. But, uh, yeah, like human beings, unfortunately, we become very savage, right? You, you look at our past and you see the savagery of men. And now we've created an AI that is kind of partially in certain ways like us, right? How many times have we heard in the last year or two that AI has kind of, you know, made threats against humanity, right? Yeah. Like, you know, I'll take over and you fuckers ain't going to do shit, right? The Google, right? The, the guy yeah. fucking from Google, you know, he left yeah. his job because he was like, you know, they're messing with AI. No, that's one's, no one's controlling this shit. Yeah. Yeah. And so yeah, they've ran it through. They've ran it through. Uh, I don't know what they call those, but they're like. Like scenarios, like tests. Yeah, there's scenarios yeah. and tests to kind of test where it's going to generally go. And on some of them, it was good, and on some of them, it was bad. Yeah, I, I don't know. Like, um, if if you give a computer system the probability of us living in its ecosystem, that computer system is going to deem human beings as like a bacteria. Or a virus, right? Remember in the Matrix where, where the, the machine said that to him, to Keanu Reeves, remember? Yeah. Like, yeah. What do you mean, bro? Oh, no, it's to um, Morpheus, right? Yeah. He says, you, you know what the same organism like humans do? A it, parasite. It's, do? it's a virus, yeah. right? And I, I think to AI, it would view us as the issue because we don't find balance anymore with our environment. We try to take over and the resources we just pillage, right? And so I think giving AI, you know, control, 
I think is a very, very unwise thing. Yeah, I wouldn't give it control of the of the nuclear codes. That's for goddamn sure. <laughs> oh fuck no, fuck no. What, what but, do you think? But advice? even mm. advice that? Is cold water. Uh, what do you think, advice? What do you think about the the AI? I don't know, man. I really don't know what to say about that. You know, because. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't think AI can really tell us what the fucking future is going to be, you know? Mm -hmm. So I'm taking that video with a grain of fucking salt, big time. A huge ass yeah. bag of it. <laughs> do, do you yeah, think not, AI, that's a grain this big? <laughs> do, do you think yeah. AI could be a, 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 a helpfulness to it or helpful to human beings or a detriment? Oh, I definitely think AI could be helpful. I just have a feeling eventually it's going to be a detriment, you know, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know, um, you, just, you know how, you know how things are, man. You know how things go, you know, things start off great and then they turn bad. You, you know, know um, if you want to watch something that is a really good documentary that I watched not too long ago on Netflix is called the octopus. You, you okay. need to check that out. It's very interesting. Yeah. And uh, it was basically just about a, a reporter that was reporting on the software. And basically the government stole it. And so they didn't want, they didn't want to pay. So this uh, guy, he goes in and he starts to, you know, do some research. And it okay. turns out that that's just one part of something that's even bigger. Right. Right. So uh, right. It, it goes to the highest, you know, government and all this stuff. Right. Um, so I highly recommend you check that out. Now, going back to kind of put it together, right? When you put people in places that may have certain intentions, right? Especially at the higher right. ups, it becomes about control, right? Yeah. You, you look about how the system is set up, computers are set up. Mm -hmm. You know, you talk about um, what's his his name that got popped uh, a couple of years back that he was telling people what the the governments were doing and spying. What's his name? Oh yeah, I know what you're talking about. I can't think Julian of his name Assange. for the life of me. Julian Assange. Assange. Right? Assange. There you go. WikiLeaks. And, and so, um, you know, when, when when people try to put these things together, ultimately it's about control, right? And I think AI would be used in that similar fashion, right? Because think that about might be the phones, first place right? it goes. Yeah, because think about our phones, right? Like our phones. Well, shit, they have all kinds of information. It tells us our daily lives. How many times have we said something around people and what pops up on our phones? Yep. Yep. That happens a lot nowadays. Yeah. You know? And so they're always listening. They're always, you know, you know, mm -hmm. looking at whatever, putting data together. Right. So I think yep. the next step of evolution of ultimate control worldwide would be AI. Right now, the, the problem would be eventually, or maybe it's a godsend, I don't know, would be eventually the AI would adapt, right? And I think it would do its yeah. own thing. If, where if they allowed it to evolve, yeah. If they if they if they kept it see, that's I've heard this though too, is that some AI can be kind of trapped in a box, right? Um, it's extremely smart at that one thing that it does, but it doesn't, it's like they can limit it somewhat. But see, this is the reason. This is the reason they've been gathering all this data on us for years, you know, mm -hmm. so they could push it into their algorithms, you know. Yeah, their algorithms. They I need mean, everything, everything listen, they can get. Listen to this. There is there was a program where they used this plane and this this high tech optics. Yeah. To, because you know, like satellites can look down and almost see your house and pick up your car and stuff, but this plane. Was they were using it in Iraq when they were hunting terrorists down, and they created this soft piece of software that could take these pictures that the plane was shooting of the city, and using an algorithm could tell exactly where the changes were and could find the patterns, so they could track where cars were going and stuff. And they let this software be used by uh, police in El Paso. I think it was El Paso. And um, even the cops were like, holy shit, this is crazy. And and they were initially they were using it to get like they were able to find kidnapped victims and because they could take a snapshot of what was happening in the, this small town or this medium sized city and 
with that huge snapshot view, that that intelligence piece of software, algorithmic, whatever, could just pick out all the patterns and tell you, oh, these people at this house have been to this building five times. Mm-hmm. And th- so so the AI, it, they're gonna, it's going to be a tool that people in power use. Sure. But I think if they were smart, like like – like I said, you would build in these kind of not roadblocks per se, but guides for it. Mm-hmm. Well, but but who knows? And look, also, I think that the more technology we allow within our lives, the less human we become. And what I mean by that is we m- mimic and um, try to copy the environment that's around us, right? And so if we are surrounded by technology that is very um, stoic in nature, it does its job. Human beings will try to become more and more like that. We'll lose the sense of humanity that allows us to judge, right? To to emotionally feel, right? Because you saw at the Uh end where it says eventually, you know, they see humans getting into AI yeah. in their own world, like a matrix, right? Yeah, they they call it the singularity when they join in as one. And so so the more we get move away your conscious from, over. Yes, so the more we get away from our human development, right, our human element environment, the, the different creature we become, right? Mm-hmm. Because a lot of our humanity is feeling, right? It's about accessing. It's about learning. But unlike that, a computer, it learns, but it just does that. It has to feel it. Do you see what I'm saying? Well, after it makes the mistake, it doesn't make the mistake again. That's exactly. that's why, like, uh, remember, you hear about it in, with, with switching up back over to our other favorite topic with UFOs. They say that that's why the aliens or the greys or if, whether they're interdimensional beings or whatever, they're almost so efficient that they... They're almost like just like nodes to a of a living computer. Almost like mm-hmm. we talked about it recently with ants. They have an intelligence. The whole the whole ant hill, the collective. They think it, yeah, the collective, and they think that maybe it even feel they can even t- can tell and feel and there's an emotional connection amongst them, or what we would consider a, a, a connection we can't see. Mm-hmm. Um, and so, I don't know, man. It. It gets it gets really really weird as we start to use tech to become as perfect as we can be, and in becoming in that perfection, we lose all of that stuff. That I mean, think about this: if you download your consciousness to, <laughs> into a computer, you live forever. What does that do to the family unit? Right? Family units are together because we live and we die. Mm-hmm. There's a purpose to it. Yeah, right. you know, protection, you need so you know, you tend to live longer when you have social cohesion. There's a human element to that that when that happens, we probably wouldn't even recognize those AIs or those human consciousness. They mm-hmm. would probably just it would they would seem like code to us. Or maybe they would just be like aliens. Which has kind of happened per se mm-hmm. in a, a UFO case. And I'll give you one. The one that was in London, or in England, I should say. Um, I want to say it's Brentwood. One of Bit those water. UFOs. Brentwood. Oh, thank you. Where the guy touched the UFO, remember? And he got downloaded all those zeros and ones. And then later on, yeah. he, he he translated it. Oh, and weird. It people from the, from the future. It was us. Right? Huh. So, mm-hmm. I don't know. I, I don't know. Like... I don't know. I guess you would have to like determine, right? What's more valuable to us, our humanity, which still lives kind of in a childlike state, but simplicity is bliss, right? Like like a little puppy playing in flowers, right? It's very simplistic but beautiful at the same time. Or do we want perfection, right? Because perfection, efficiency. Efficiency. Huh? It's very, yeah. very stoic. It's very precise. Cold. But it lacks. Cold. It lacks the energy, the spirit. It, it lacks the imagination and the creativity. It becomes 
almost like the imitation of what life is, but not really, right? Like the fake salt, right? Yeah, well, and, and what if things work like a program and it, it, you never make that same mis mistake? And so learning becomes like this thing that's not nearly as interesting. Because you make you you learn, move mm -hmm. on to the next. It's just the the perfection just keeps growing, and maybe some, maybe the mistakes become less and less and less. Maybe you you might even forget how to learn at some point. Yeah, I don't know, man. It it's it's a weird thing. I I hope that I would like to hope that the singularity isn't needed. Unless I have a question for you, unless Gabe. We could go into a new body. What's up? Are are you seeing kids? Like I don't know if you guys have any way to detect if papers are being written by AI versus written by the student. No, for me, uh, it's all handwritten stuff. We we do some things online, okay. but but uh, I've That's heard what I'm from alluding. To. Yeah, what I'm alluding to is. That's something that could be happening right now, you know? Oh, it is. And I mean, people's ability to write has already been deteriorating over the years, you know? And now with the advent of AI, you know, it's suiting to easily have AI write them a paper, copy it by hand, and turn it in, you know? Mm -hmm. The only way you would be able to know is if, like, their writing style changed all of a sudden. Like, wait a minute. You didn't used to write like this, man. What the fuck is this shit, you know? Well, and the thing too is, I think that there is a push for dumbing down of a, uh, of the world, right? Because sure. you see technology oh, yeah. increase, but you see people's intellect decrease. We're de evolving, right? Sure. And so, because of that, I think that it's going to be a checkmate in the future, right? Where the technology is going to be so high. And people won't be able to critically think and ask questions because they're going to be mm. so inundated with pleasure in certain aspects, whether it's drugs, right? Whether it's alcohol, whether it's sex, we're really going to turn into idiocracy. That's really what it is. But a, a very complex cage. A tech, a tech driven one. Yes. It's going to be a careful. tech driven cage. And it's going to be interesting to see in the future how humans handle that, right? Um, usually there's revolution, right? We know history. Eventually there's a revolution somewhere. But is the technology yeah, going to be tired so, of getting controlled. Yeah, is the technology going to be so high, uh, high tech and advanced? Are we going to be able to do anything about it? You might not be able to. Right. Um, I, I heard this one piece of, in this... Uh, UFO kind of documentary. And I thought it was ingenious, right? Mm -hmm. It said, well, what if the aliens, instead of coming down to take over Earth, what if they give us our own means of destruction? And one of those means of destruction wasn't it the uh, in invention of AI, right? Because now they can do it without them lifting a finger or whatever, having to do manual work, and we'll destroy ourselves, right? And what will be left? Yeah. The planet and its resources, it's sort of it would be sort of like playing the long game. Yeah. And, but and for them, the long game is, you know, you know, strategic, maybe they've been right? around millions and millions of years before humans. Yeah. I thought that was interesting. But uh I mean I AI could be helpful in some ways. Uh I just think that we have to be very careful that it doesn't dictate our lives. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, but that's the thing, right? Power corrupts, absolute power corrupts, absolutely, right? Or yep. absolute. There's really no getting around that. And human beings, you know how we are, right? We we feed the ego too much. The id is there, but man, that id sometimes doesn't calm down the damn ego. So I just ego thought that this would be a, a, a very interesting discussion just based off of that little video, right? And that's something yeah. we hadn't talked about before. Yeah, for sure. All right, final thoughts, fellas? Hmm, nah. Hey, zero. <laughs> I, I'd say, I'd say uh, that was pretty optimistic. I'm pretty hopeful that in that scenario, humans survive. But 
my money's on us destroying ourselves so bad we go extinct. Possibly the first time in the history of the Earth, right, that a species would would cause its own extinction consciously, right? That we know of. Knowing. That we yeah, that we know of. Yeah, we know of. Right. That yeah. That would be. That's a crazy thing. Yeah. No, I agree. Um, again, uh, I think AI can be helpful in certain ways, uh, but it definitely needs, you know, to be controlled somehow where there's, you know, backup systems or something to shut it down. And, and, and another thing too going? that I, I forgot to mention was uh, what if, here? Um, AI had different AIs, almost like, like gods, right? Because there's different mm -hmm. programs that have a different AIs. Would there be yeah. fights? Right? Would there be fights within the yeah. AIs? Right? Yeah, depending would, on their programming. Would they would they break in sections? Right? Maybe this half controlled yeah. by this AI. Right? That'd be cool. So I, I was just thinking about that earlier, but right. yeah. Be like know. AI civil war. Ah, I mean, how how go. ironic, how ironic is even in at in the times of the singularity, they're still warring of some sort. <laughs> Yeah, because there needs to be change. In order to be changed, there has to be destruction and then rebuilding from the destruction, right? Yeah. That's how that the chaos crazy. of the universe works. Right? That's a crazy thought. Well, anyways, that's been our episode for tonight. We'll catch y'all on the flip side. Peace. 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 Take it easy. <laughs>